Hey guys, this is Nadine. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to do a Q&A with you guys. I gathered a bunch of questions from you guys on Instagram. Let's get into it. I guess I don't have like a motto motto, but something that I've like said to my mom, remind myself every day is good things happen to good people. I said that in another YouTube video. Probably Not You by Alan Walker. It's like a hidden song in one of his albums. And yeah, I love, I love it. I love Alan Walker. Alan Walker is one of my favorite DJs. I posted a photo on New Year's Day of me and a mysterious guy going clubbing. And um, initially I posted that and I covered the guy's face in order to protect or for their privacy. Um, but a lot of people kind of like mistook that as, you know, correlating that to somebody from the Singles Inferno cast or like my boyfriend. Um, <laughs> Y'all are all wrong. Yeah, sorry guys, it's not anyone from Singles Inferno. It's not my boyfriend, it's one of my guy friends. <laughs> my Hogwarts house is Slytherin. And I've taken it like so many times. I think I've retaken it like seven to eight times because I always wanted Gryffindor. Gryffindor is like my dream house. Self-growth, and I mean that in a lot of different ways. Like I really want to kind of recenter myself and my future aspirations. I'm just trying to stay strong to my goals, my passion, and yeah. So I don't have a go-to drink when I go to a bar. I just kind of like order something that tastes the best. <laughs> I don't do shots because I'm really bad with hard liquor. I hate the taste of it, so I'm always the girl drinking with a chaser. And even with soju, soju 마실 때는 항상 사이다 뿌려야 돼요 위에다가. And <laughs> 위에 뿌리고 마실 수 있어요. 근데 깡으로는 못 마셔요. I am currently in school. I'm finishing my last semester of college. I'm a senior. So doing a lot of thesis work. Yeah, just trying to get by <laughs> and graduate, guys. I have three months left and I'll be done with school and I'll start working again. Yeah, I'm not dating anybody. So my constant, my focus right now is not dating. However, it really is to graduate and get my thesis done. No, I did not have any plastic surgery, but I was tempted to get like shizu, like fillers and stuff, but my mom has always convinced me otherwise not to, so. My MBTI is ESTJ. People have hypothesized that I am an I. It's quite interesting because I would say that I'm an I when I speak Korean, but when I'm speaking English, I am 100% <laughs> E. My favorite Korean food would have to be sundubujjigae, but my favorite cuisine slash food would be Japanese food. I would have never imagined being where I am today in life. I have definitely come a long way since, my, since when I was young. I think my biggest pet peeve is when people are not genuine. I think that comes in a lot of dif different forms. Like, I do not like people who can't hold on to friendships or relationships. Um, I also don't like people who take advantage of people and jump from person to person, whether that be friendships or romantic relationships. No, unfortunately, I do not have any beef with anyone. And I, I'm assuming this is from the cast. I do not have beef with anybody. I wish I did. That would be so fun. <laughs> we love drama and I wish I had beef. I do not. I really love every single one of them. I have nothing bad to say about any one of them. Zodiac sign. I'm a Taurus. I am 176 centimeters tall or I'm 5'9". Um, I will not be revealing my weight. 
um, because I do not want to trigger anybody and I don't think that's important. No, I'm not on dating apps, guys. I have gotten like tags and like people mentioning me that they've seen me on dating apps. I've also like met people who've like matched with me on dating apps. And I'm like that, and they would like come up to me being like, hey, I matched with you. And I would be like, what? I did not match with you, sorry. <laughs> I don't do dating apps, I'm not into it. Um, so if you see me around, that's not me. <laughs> sorry guys. <laughs> I was lost in high school. I felt really lonely and my uncle introduced me to kind of like the military and the military community. I got hooked onto it. Um, I would watch all these documentaries and my uncle started introducing me to like renowned generals and majors, lieutenant colonels. And I started like just getting into the military community and talking to these people. And I realized that, you know, I would, I really want to be a part of it. And also my passion for medicine at the time, my uncle would always tell me like, oh, you could be like a trauma surgeon in the military and you can do all these crazy things. Like you can ride on helicopters, jump out of planes. Like you'll get to experience a life that you would never get to experience as a civilian otherwise. And I really love adventure. I'm very curious, I'm a curious person. So I think I got hooked onto it and yeah, I did it for one year. I had a really good time. Also another life-changing experience that taught me many different things. Um, I would describe my fashion sense as very simple and elegant, I hope, um, but also trendy. Uh, I really love dark colors. I think I look better in dark colors. I love black, I love gray. And I would say my fashion inspiration is definitely my mom. Um, I steal her clothes all the time from her closet. Uh, she gets mad at me. <laughs> She's always yelling at me. Yes, I do. It's in Korea though. I did not bring it with me to the US, but as you can see, I am like obsessed with plushies. Like, I guess like another plushie that I can show you guys. is This is my side duck. I think my two favorite superheroes would have to be Spider-Man and Wanda Maximoff or the Scarlet Witch. Yes, people recognize me. It's crazy. You know, in Korea, like people obviously recognize me, but when I came to the States, I thought it would die down a bit, but nope. Uh, I still get recognized here every day, whether that's on campus or when I'm like out in Boston with friends, like People notice me, which is absolutely crazy. My nickname as a kid was Deaners, which is my Instagram name. A lot of people were wondering where my name came from. So when I was in third grade, one of my really good friends go over to her house all the time and her parents would call me Deaners because Nadine, Dean. Yeah, they would always call me Deaners, Deaners. And it was so cute. It stuck with me. And then when I was like trying to come up with an Instagram name, I was like, why not? This is hard because I'm fans of certain drivers. I don't think I'm necessarily a fan of a certain team. I used to root for Red Bull a lot, but I think this season I was rooting for Ferrari. Guess my favorite drivers though, number one, Max Verstappen, 100%. I just like him. So Max Verstappen. I also like Carlos Sainz and Charles Leclerc. I love The Walking Dead. I'm watching The Last of Us right now, literally episode by episode as it comes out. I love Money Heist. I love all like sci-fi, dark, kind of like gory stuff. Yeah, there were definitely moments, um, especially during my underclassmen years where I regretted going to Harvard. Um, I was really close to choosing Yale. Yeah, I think I ended up choosing Harvard for its location and the accessibility to labs around the area. Like there's so many opportunities here in terms of research. So I think that's why I chose Harvard, but now I don't regret it. I'm really glad I came here. Um, I made my best memories, my, long, my lifelong friendships. 
Dog or cat? Dog. 100% dog. I have a cat allergy. <laughs> I guess like my holy grail products that I consistently have been rebuying over and over again is I use this, the NARS concealer. Um, I just started using this Laneige foundation. I really like it and I use it with this brush. Really nice. Skincare, I use Tretinoin. I'm on that Tretinoin grind right now. I use this hair oil, love her. She's a little dirty, but you need this guys. This is the mascara doctor fixer upper. I don't know. This stuff literally curls your lashes and holds the curl the whole time. It's, it's absolutely insane. In terms of bronzer and stuff, I love this. Like I mix between palettes i feel like i've done a lot of crazy things like me going on singles inferno like on a reality tv show is like pretty crazy i've been to dubai and like ridden on camels and stuff that's crazy i've gone to like music festivals and gotten messed up with friends <laughs> um yeah not many i'm not too, a super crazy gal um, yeah, I do think about marriage. Not right now. I would love to get married like in my late 20s or early 30s. Harry Potter. Multiple times the whole series. Marvel, I will rewatch the whole series three times. I really love Charlie and the Chocolate Factory for some reason. I like the newer version with Johnny Depp and the old version. I've probably rewatched those so many times. I've rewatched Ponyo like four times. No social media, none of that. Yeah, I think through mutual friends is like my ideal situation. Like I don't think I'll go on, on a date with like somebody rando. But I think one thing that keeps me motivated is my family. When I'm having a hard time, I always call my mom. She snaps me back into it. And also just like my own goals. I have to take on these challenges. I have to face them and if I don't do anything, I'm not going to get anything out of it. I got a lot of questions about my paradise date with Tomopa based on what was seen slash shown. Um, people thought that like he had rejected me. There are definitely parts that were cut out that I think were really important to the development of Tomu and I's relationship that eventually wasn't really shown. There were moments like right after our paradise date where it was clear that he was interested in me and was like trying to talk to me and stuff, but I think I was a little... <laughs> um, but yeah, we were like swimming together post paradise date, like on the beach and stuff. And yeah, we had a really good time. The biggest, most memorable moment for me was me winning the game <laughs> against Seon Onni. Seon Onni and I were BFFs on the show, still are now. Yeah, I really wanted to win because I'm just competitive <laughs> for no reason. So the closest female cast member, I'm really close to all of them. Like on the show, I was like really close to Chung Woo Ba. And post-show, I think I've been really close with Tung Oppa and Sejun Oppa um, and Jin Oppa. And yeah, love them all. I think all the girls were envious of Sergi <laughs> on the show. Um, she had all the guys in love with her and as they should. She is gorgeous, she is accomplished, she is so charming. I wish I was more forward. I am definitely satisfied with my Singles Inferno experience. I came out of it with lifelong friendships, memorable experiences that I never would have been able to get otherwise. Being on a Netflix show, like that's crazy. Um, I think everything kind of happened for a reason.
Okay, guys, I said it in such a weird way. I don't know why I said it like that. Because Chinyopo was like, Churagi word. And I was like, Jurassic World? <laughs> yes, 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 100%. I definitely had a hard time fitting in culturally with the cast, especially in the beginning. The elephant in the room, which was my language barrier. So I definitely had a hard time communicating my feeling like I belonged. It was definitely really difficult. And I think also, like, I guess more culturally, like dating wise, I felt definitely kind of a distinction there. I think Koreans just date more. They're very romantically like centered, like, all social life is in a sense from my experience with people who are my age i feel that way um and i think western dating is definitely more chill like people are more open it's slower people are not obsessed with dating <laughs> that's a very personal opinion on mine as i've experienced both cultures but yeah I think I said this in an L interview. They cut out a scene where I was like, when he came up to me and he stood next to me, I had already knew that like he was gonna pick Sugi. So I was kind of like, <laughs> what are you doing here? I I I think I said something like, like oppa wea no laga, and it was so funny. Like I don't know why they took it out, but I thought it was hilarious. Um, but yeah, when he stood next to me, I thought it was funny. He definitely did that on purpose. Yes, I love Sejun. <laughs> I absolutely love Sejun Oppa. I wish I had spent more time with him on the show. Um, I think me and Sejun Oppa got much closer after the show. <laughs> he's perfect and he's so fun. And yeah, love him. Love you, Sejin Oppa. <laughs> no, it is not scripted. I'm like debating between Seon Onni and Sejong Onni. And like, I guess like I did the Rubik's Cube a lot. <laughs> you guys could see me playing the Rubik's Cube a lot. No, I did not. Beyond his love for Sergi Onni, like, I just think me and him are very different. But as friends, me and Jungwoo Oppa, we're, we are the duo when it comes to friendship. I will be his wing woman forever. People were saying that I was purposefully just being like, yeah, yeah, Jin Oppa, like, yeah, me too. Like, I like black too, or like, I like, I was in the military too. <laughs> I was just being honest. Like, I just like all those things. Like, I love the color black. Like, it's so clear on my Instagram and like my fashion that like black is my favorite color. I used to do ROTC, which is military affiliated. I love guns. I love cars. I'm into F1. Like, but I was really surprised that like we had all these common interests. So yeah, I definitely was not doing that on purpose not made up that's all real like <laughs> i guess me and jinyo are just like more similar than people think we are i don't think i was embarrassed i was definitely sad because <laughs> i was like damn like <laughs> nobody <laughs> i'm leaving the island alone but i think i was really happy at the same time i i was just worried about getting matched up with somebody and like having to deal with like the drama post-show and like I was already hesitant on becoming matched with somebody so I'm very happy with the result. All right, that was all of the questions, guys. It took so long to get through all of them. Thanks guys for watching and sending me all those questions. I had a lot of fun. Just hopefully we'll be making more content if you guys want to see certain types of content like please let me know in the comments right. and yeah i will see you guys very soon thank you for listening and bye hey guys <laughs> No, I can do it.
Okay. Hey guys, this is Nadine. 